So let's look at the main display screen right here. Okay, so first off, we can change our main display screen by hitting the SW1 button. And if I change patches using the scroll knob, this stays at our default screen. You also have this option and this option, which shows output volume. So here we are on what I call the main display. I always like to see the letter and number, the name, the amp, and my setting knobs. But what if we don't want the amp to be our main display screen? Well, we can change that. You'll hit edit back once, which will take you to this menu. Now we have four pages. We want to scroll to the fourth page using the scroll knob. Page three, and here we are on page four. In a previous video, we were talking about meters, which is on the fourth page here. Now we're talking about display. So you can see here under controls, where it says amp. That's showing that our main display is on amp. You'll also notice here where it says page two of two. That just shows that the controls of the amp can't be shown on just one page. So we're just showing page two. If we go back, hitting edit back, you'll see that here. We hit edit back again, and we go to page one. You now see our display has changed to page one. So we'll go back. You have other options besides AMP. You have your FX loop, volume pedal, wall pedal, modulation, reverb, delay, distortion, FX1, FX2, so all your effects. So if we wanted modulation to be shown, we just choose modulation, hit edit back, and now we have modulation shown on our main screen. You also notice that the knobs are lit in green, which shows that we are controlling an effects parameter. If we change them, then you'll show red, meaning that you change a parameter. Now if we went ahead and scrolled off this to the next rig, and then scrolled back, you see it has reverted to the previous setting. That's because we didn't save. So if on your main screen you wanted reverb, page 2, you could go ahead and save here, or you can edit back and then hit save. We'll keep this name, just click save. Now we have our main screen saved. We can switch rigs and then switch back. And we're still on the reverb. But if you're like me, you're going to want your amp shown. So we'll change that here. Amp, that's what we want. Save, save. The same holds true when you start scrolling through your rigs and you get down to these further numbers we see W4 Black Hot Distortion and even if you were to create a rig in Pro Tools and save it the screen would still show distortion when you're probably going to want the amp on the main screen so you change that in the same way we just did so hit edit back, we're on the fourth page display, go to the controls choose amp, we want page one of two edit back, that's what we want and save, and save so those are some ways you can change what's shown on your main display screen.